안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. Okay, our Korean uh, friends have to understand that language. Uh, I currently serve as the director of Doctor Ministry Program at Central. I also uh, am the chair, assistant professor of Congregational Health. And recently, uh, the president, uh, Doctor Marshall, tapped me to uh, assist her with fundraising. So I also serve as vice president for Korean Community Outreach. So uh, the question, uh, the prompt is, what had you excited about the, multi, uh, the emerging multicultural reality of Central? So I thought about that. Uh, there are a couple of things that I can uh, definitely point out. Number one, things are a culture, a culture at Central that is inclusive, that is hospitable, and also that is invitational. And we have great leaders at Central who live out those values. They intentionally reach out and mingle with people who are different from them, who speak different languages, who are from different cultures, who also are from different ethnic groups as well. They have high cultural intelligence. When I say high cultural intelligence, I actually uh, think of Dr. Sun Chan Ra, who defined cultural intelligence as knowledge about one's own cultural framework and also one's immediacy of cultural environments and a willingness to go to another place and reflect on one's own culture and also see their own culture from a new angle. And so when I think about our leaders at Central, they have a high cultural, cultural intelligence. So when you come to Central, you can have a place at the table. You can have your voice that is recognized and affirmed. And also, you can bring yourself as you are. And that's how I brought myself to the table, as I was and as I am. As you can see, I am not tall, I'm skinny, I have squinted eyes, but that doesn't mean that they are all my liabilities. Because when I am skinny, that could also mean I'm agile. That could also mean that I could uh, reach out to more people, and also, Squinted eyes do not necessarily mean that I don't have a keen eyes. I can have keen eyes on things. I can observe, I can listen, I can ask. So I can bring myself to the table as I am. What has me excited about the emerging cultural, multicultural reality of Central? Another thing that, I, that comes to my mind is the fact that it's true to the Bible. You can all remember Revelation chapter 5, where we see people from all nations, all languages, and all backgrounds come together and praising to the Lord, sing hallelujah to our Lord, seated on the ground. And it, as you look at this landscape here, at the makeup of this con you know, congregation, you see that it is truly a reflection of what God has in mind. And also, the one thing that I learned early on in my seminary days, when you are elected, when you are the people who are chosen, as God's people. You also have not only the privilege, but you also have the responsibility to serve and to reach out to other people. So Israel, when they were chosen as the holy nation, they were to reach out to all nations. As God blessed Abraham, you are going to be a blessing to all nations. It was the Israelites' responsibility, but they failed. But our Lord who came, he showed us what it means to truly reach out to all nations. Jesus Christ was inclusive and he was invitational. And now that is something that we find essential. And I'm very proud of that. And one last thing is, it's just better when you have diverse <laughs> It's just better. Days are a little uncomfortable. That's because you have to move beyond your comfort zone. You have to think outside the box. Even though there is a little uncomfortableness, but there's greater greater benefit, greater uh, things that you can actually aspire to do with the people that you have. And I think Central incarnates all those values, and that is what really has me excited about the emerging cultural, multicultural reality as Central. Thank you. Thank you.